This is Larry Zavisco, wrestling's living legend, and you're listening to Perched on the Top Row. The following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Row. Hey out there, the unbreakable bunch of movie fans. This is Larry Zabisco, wrestling's living legend, one of the stars of the movie, and uh, I just had to make this comment, get it out of my system, because they were, they were going back and forth with the names. Mm-hmm. But it, 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 it's going to be such a classic movie. I thought they should call it Plan 10 from Outer Space. But um, it's a, it was a very interesting experience in a movie that's unique. I mean, I haven't been to the movies in years because it's all, you know, Batman 25, the Superheroes 30, the Marine 90. You know, so. But this, this movie's really unique. It's a whole family, a family movie, nothing dirty. But it, 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 it's the kind of movie that you're going to get everything you don't expect. Because there's a... God, it was well done. It was really well done. And I was in it, and I had an easy part, because I kind of played me, the legend guy. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, Glacier was in it, Luther Biggs was in it, Ernie the Cat Miller was in it, and they had some fight scenes. Ernie the Cat was amazing in the fight scenes. Ming, you know, Big Tonga, and had a couple of actors, Adam from The Walking Dead, and a couple of, I can't remember, and then... Some cameo appearances by Stan Hansen. I think DDP was there a day. But, it, but it's really a movie that I think is going to be unique because even though it's about a group of wrestlers that save a town from aliens, it's not a wrestling movie. So uh, I can't wait to see it. I mean, I'm dying to see it. Larry, let me ask you this. How did you get brought into the movie? Well, you know, Ray, it almost became like a joke because Ray was working his butt off on this for years. Mm-hmm. And it got to be a point where I'd see Ray in a glacier somewhere and I'd go, Ray, how's the movie going? <laughs> the movie! <laughs> so it became like almost a rib. And then all of a sudden one day he called and said, Hey, I found a money guy! It was funny because after Shea Stadium, the money guy's name was Shea. <laughs> so it was all meant to be, but I, I think the people are really going to be surprised and, and impressed. But to, and especially to see a unique movie that's not a remake. And it's, it, 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 it's, um, it's driving me nuts. I can't take it. I want to see the damn thing. Well, as far as we know, fans, uh, the movie is in post-production right now. And it's looking to come out in 2023. Uh, Larry Sabisco here, as he says, plays himself. Did you play a character known as the Legend? Legend. It was yeah, a simple legend and kind of played really basically myself. So, you know, and uh, they paid me some great compliments. You know, everything they did, they said that like, I was the sleeper. So they didn't expect me to be as great as I was. But, uh, myself on the back, but that was great. So what was it like? Um, Eat your heart out, John Boyd. <laughs> so how was it for you uh, transitioning from uh, the professional wrestling world to the acting? Well, you know what? It wasn't that much of a transition for me because I, I was always gifted with the gift of gift. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I was in the ring wrestling and one of the yes. things that got to the fans, especially that hate me, was the art of doing the interview, which was all ad lib in my head. I mean, there was no writers, nothing. And then the 10 years I did of commentating and talking, everything was ad lib, you know, on the spot ad lib. So the movie uh, really wasn't that much of a transition because I could, you know, read the lines and I would change maybe a word here and there and something. But, but it, it really came easy to me because, like I said, I play mostly my own kind of character. And the, the talking part and stuff was easy with facial expressions. The hardest part, after day one I learned making a movie, was the next time I do a movie, I'm going to have someone get me a golf cart. Because movies, they do a scene, and then they go, okay, wait. And then you stand there, 
and they do the same scene, but you're in the scene, but you're not doing nothing because someone else is saying something. Mm -hmm. So you basically wind up, you know, for like 13, 14 hours a day, standing around and walking. So I've learned if I make a movie again between my scenes, I'm sitting down. After the first day of filming, my knees were killing me. Totally, totally understand. It was the hardest part. Yeah, oh, I can imagine, you know. Uh, I've been on set with movies and stuff like that. Some scenes can take up to 10, 12 yeah, hours. Cause, yeah, because even though you're, you're in the scene, you have one line, but then you're in the scene when 10 other people have you know, their things to do, so you just kind of stay <laughs> So when it comes to the movie itself, um, and, and the filming and everything, how would you compare it to being part of, say, like commentary in WCW, where on Mondays you were, you were live uh, on the commentary team with uh, the likes of Tony Schiavone, Mike Tenay, Bobby the Brain Heenan, we even get the call-ins from Lee Marshall from time to time. Um, how would you compare, you know, doing the commentary to, to the movie itself? Well, it was kind of different because the commentary, again, was ad lib. Whatever was happening and was going to happen, I mean, I had no idea. I called what I saw. But the movie thing was different because you had a script. Yep. So you had lines to know and do. It wasn't lines I ad lib. You know, I changed maybe a word here and there or something here and there. But so it was kind of different because it was it wasn't ad living as a script to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Unbreakable Bunch movie is coming out in 2023. Please make sure early 2023 because I can't wait. Make sure you check that out, and for all content, you can go to the Facebook page, the Unbreakable Bunch movie. Larry, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to sit and speak with me today about the movie and a couple of things involving your wrestling career. No really problem. I mean, I'm excited. I like being here, meeting the fans. It's a good positive energy. And the, the movie coming out, I know Glacier and Luther have been waiting 10 years on this, so they're probably dying a lot more than me than we had done. And, uh, I know that from what I got, the, the, the distributors really like it. I mean, it, it's different, it's unique, it's not a remake. And, you know, and it, it's going to be a movie, it's, it's not a better wrestling movie. So I think wrestling, fan, wrestling fans are going to love it, but people who aren't wrestling fans are going to get a thrill and they're going to love it too. I think it's going to be a classic. And where can fans find you on social media? They can't. I really don't. Uh, I have a flip phone, and all I do is talk once in a while and text. Texting is good when you don't want to talk to somebody. You go busy now. And, but I, yeah, I'm still old school. I got a flip phone, and I just talk to friends, family, and once in a while I get an email. You know, and then I get a request for a podcast like every week. But no one ever puts their phone number. They got you know, some weird thing. I, I just sent them an email back. Send me your phone number and I'll call you about the podcast. So okay. that's uh, you know, how they get to work it out. Send me your number. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, fans, make sure the first quarter of 2023, you go and find The Unbreakable Bunch, the movie. It's going to be coming out soon. Larry, thank you very much. Well, really thank you. you know, I can, I'll be in the front row coming out of limo for the premiere. I can't <laughs> wait to see this. Me either. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Row. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out.